Take a closer look at the distance aspects of as absolute value. Distance on a number line and absolute value. All right, let's take a look at two numbers, negative three and positive two. Question is, how far apart are those on the number line? Well, we can look at it visually if we happen to have a number line in front of us. One, two, three, four. They're five jumps apart. Okay. Now, remember, back from elementary school, if you ever want to find out how far apart two um, numbers are from one another, you just subtract them. So let's see what happens when we subtract. If we take negative 3 minus 2, that would be the same thing as negative 3 plus the opposite of 2, which is negative 5. But we just said they're 5 units apart, and I'm ending up with a, a negative answer here and that's where the absolute value comes into play. Formally, if we put the absolute value bars around the original subtraction problem, negative 3, take away 2, then we will get the actual distance, which is a positive 5. So people always ask me, well, why did you put the negative 3 first? Well, I just happened to put the negative 3 first because my eye fell upon it first. We could have just as easily put the 2 first. Uh, and then if we went ahead and did that, we would get 2 minus the negative 3, which of course would be the same thing as 2 plus a positive 3, which is 5. In that case, we do end up with a positive difference right away because we put the larger number first and from it we subtracted the smaller. But we don't always remember to do that and that's why if you just habitually put the absolute value bars around the difference you don't need to worry about which number comes first. For example, let's say I want to know how far apart are um, negative 38 and 2 tenths and negative 69 and 4 tenths, okay? I don't have to worry about which one's bigger or which one's smaller. All I have to do is put them into the absolute value bars and subtract them, okay? Like that. And when you do that, you're going to get, well, let's see, what will we get here? Um, oh, wait. I, we're subtracting a negative 69.4, excuse me. To subtract a negative 69.4 is the same thing as adding a positive 69.4. So by George, by Jingo, we're going to get the absolute value of uh, 31.2, which is 31.2. That's how many units apart they are. All right, more formally, this can be written out like this. The distance formula on a number line. If A and B are any two numbers on a number line, then the distance between them can be written as the absolute value of A minus B, or if you prefer, the absolute value of B minus A. All right, so having said that, Anytime you want to find the difference between or the distance between two numbers, you just subtract them and take the, the absolute value. Let's say I asked you to do this. Tell me what number is exactly six units away from four? Or maybe I should say what numbers? Maybe there are two numbers that are exactly six units away from four. Well, let's take a look. Let's look at this graphically. All right, let's put four right here, smack dab in the center. Let's go out six units to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, where did we land? This was four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so 10, the number 10 is exactly six units away from four. But let's say we went in the opposite direction, six units. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, now where did we land here? Okay, three, 
2, 1, 0, 1, negative 1, negative 2. So there we have, there are two possible solutions to this little expression. Negative 2 take away 4 would give us negative 6, and the absolute value of negative 6 is positive 6. And 10 take away 4 would give you 6, and the absolute value of 6 is positive 6. So our two answers are negative 2 and 10. All right, now we don't always have a sweet, cute little number line like that in front of us that we can very nicely just count jumps. So I need to also show you an algebraic way to solve this type of problem. And it's equally easy. Let's just take a look here. Once again, we have the challenge to solve a take away 4 is equal to 6. All right, now the absolute value of a take away 4 is equal to 6. Now, for this to work, the, the amount inside of here can be either a 6 or a, pos or a negative 6. Either way, when you take the absolute value, you're going to get 6. So, let's just write that out. We have two possible things that can happen a minus 4 might be equal to negative 6, or a minus 4 might be equal to positive 6. Either way, when we take the absolute value, we will get a positive 6. So algebraically, all we have to do to solve for a here is to just get rid of the negative 4s. So we're going to add a positive 4 on both sides here. And that will leave me with a is equal to negative 2. Over here, when we add a positive 4 to both sides, we will be left with a equals 10. And by George, by Jingo, that's what we saw up here graphically. So it works by yeah. visually yeah. looking at graphically or logically looking at algebraically.